Today is World Benzodiazepine Awareness Day. I'm now seven years into this journey and uh, I'm grateful to be alive today. Really grateful to be alive. I um, this might be a triggering video. I I've been going through trying to find all the videos that the other warriors have made for this day over the years, you know. And then I feel like I'm looking at my family. I'm so grateful for all the bravery and the courage that you guys have all shown by sharing your stories, by reaching out. You've saved lives. I know you've saved mine. Um, I'm sad to see that this day isn't really being put out there this year. Um, there's not much being done for it in our community, not, not, a, not much that I'm finding. And what that brings me to is all the loss that we have suffered over the years. Um, one of the ladies that was really big and big, um, Dr. Christy Huff, we lost her over this last year. And we continue to lose people. I feel very blessed to still be alive, to still be able to talk, to still be able to try to get this message out there. And I am healing. I'm so much better than I used to be. I suffer with agathesia that I believe was induced by a benzodiazepine Xanax. They cold turkeyed me off this drug and I hit the floor in seizures. Benzodiazepines, Xanax, you know, your little sleep aids, your SSRIs, all these medications are neurotoxins, every single one of them, and uh, they are mind altering. And, and nobody has a freaking map. They, they don't know what it's going to alter or how, but it will alter you. It definitely will alter you. That's why this message needs to get out. People are not aware of the dangers of benzodiazepines. I wasn't. I'm not going to go on and on because I've been sharing my story every day for the last seven years. Um, blessed to have been able to do that. Yes, we can heal from this. It's a time thing. Time and environment. I love you, warriors. Thank you for saving my life, and thank you for getting this message out there, and thank you for staying alive. Thank you for staying alive.